Hello, today's devotion is uh, continues in Jeremiah chapter 32. We're going to start with the ninth verse. It goes like this. The Lord had told me to buy it for Hanamel, and so I did. The price was 17 pieces of silver, and I weighed out the full amount on a scale. I had two copies of the bill of sale written out, each containing all the details of our agreement. Some witnesses and I signed the official copy, which was folded and tied, before being sealed shut with hot wax. Then I gave Hanamel the silver. And while he, the witnesses, and all the other Jews sitting in the courtyard were still watching, I gave both copies to Baruch, son of Neri. I told Baruch that the Lord had said, Take both copies of this bill of sale, one sealed shut and the other open, and put them in a clay jar and keep them with you day and night. Oops. So they will last a long time. I am the Lord, all-powerful, the God of Israel, and I promise you that people will once again buy and sell houses, farms, and vineyards in this country. This was a tremendous act of hope on Jeremiah's part. It was more than um, just an investment in a piece of land. It was an act that showed that Jeremiah believed the promises that he was telling people about. It was showing that Jeremiah believed that when God said, he would bring people back to the land, that God would keep that promise and bring them back. He had no real reason to believe that. Um, he, the Babylonians were, you know, any just seconds away from conquering the people in the land. Jeremiah was um, not well liked because he kept telling people the truth. He kept speaking God's word and people didn't want to hear it. And everything just sort of seemed to be up in the air. Everything seemed really uncertain, like they wouldn't know. Nobody really knew what the future was going to hold or what it was going to look like. And yet, in a deliberately public way, in front of so many witnesses, Jeremiah literally put his money where his mouth was. He bought land, which for all intents and purposes, he knew he would never see. Jeremiah listened to God, and he lived out God's will. And that did more than bless him in the end. The, the proclamation that Israel would overcome what was on the horizon, all the events that were coming, the certain doom, and that one day God would bring them back, and the houses and fields and vineyards will be brought again in the land. It's a statement of faith. That with anything... With God, anything is possible. That with God, all things are possible. Often we have to step out in faith and show that we believe the things that we say. And often that involves risk, but that is what God asks us to do.